What's up, everybody? Welcome to lesson number six and buying and selling with liquidity. This is a humongous topic that I know a lot of people are interested in. So I want to give a really, really short and concise overview on how to do this, both on a V2 Dex and a V3 Dex. So uh, how about we just dive on in and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's start with uh, buying and selling with uh, LP on a V2 Dex. So if you remember a V2 DEX, uh, spread your liquidity from zero to infinity. And because there are no discrete ways of being able to um, being able to set your bands, uh, you never experience 100% in permanent loss. So you never actually completely buy or completely sell into a position or out of a position with V2. But you can take advantage of the volatility of price so that the impermanent loss works out works out in your favor. And that's the general theme of this entire video. It's that you buy and sell LP via the impermanent loss. So you are accumulating more hex as it's going down in price and you're accumulating more USDC as hex is going up in price. And so if you wanted to buy hex with liquidity, you would need to provide it towards say the top at the top of a given uh, range, maybe all-time high, local high, whatever it might be, but you need the price to go down afterwards. So when you add LP, you're adding much more USDC than HEX. Technically, it's 50-50 at the given price, but because the price is higher, you need to be providing more USDC. As the price is going down, people are putting HEX into the into the pool, taking out USDC, which is, is essentially buying. You, know, you are giving up your USDC and you're accumulating HEX. So as the price goes down, your LP position in in terms of absolute token numbers has more hex tokens in it than when you started and less usdc tokens which is essentially like you're buying a position over time and then the opposite would be true you would need to if you're trying to sell via lp you need to uh, on a v2 dex you need to add that liquidity in at a bottom maybe a local bottom but you need the price to go up afterwards so as the price is going up people are putting in the usdc coins and taking out hex from your liquidity pool. So the impermanent loss is working out in your favor because you're trying to sell. So at this level, if you pull your LP here, you're getting more heck, uh, more USDC and you have less, less hex. Essentially, essentially you have sold part of your hex position as the price has gone up. Um, now, on a V3 system, this is much more effective because you can set discrete ranges. And because you can set discrete ranges, you are um, putting the uh, hex tokens above the price. So with, with V3, you don't have to necessarily put your put two coins in at the same time. You can put single-sided liquidity positions either above the price or below the price. So if you're looking to sell with LP, you would want to put your hex above the price, which means you have a 100% position that your LP is 100% in hex. Now, if you remember, as price moves within your range, you are taking one coin, giving it up, and accumulating another one. So if these two blue bars represent your position and then this red bar represents the price, well, if price moves within your range and gets halfway through, you are now 50% into HEX and 50% into USDC. And then as the price goes completely above it, the price goes higher than the range that you set, you are 100% in USDC. So now you have sold all of your HEX at an average price within these two blue bars. And that's how you would sell uh, using uh, V3 liquidity. What that what that means, and, and this is a better than V2 in a lot of ways, because before, not all of your position is sold, but with V3, because there's discrete positions and we can get 100% in permanent loss, you are able to go from completely from hex, you're able to go completely uh, from hex all the way to USDC. Now, something you need to keep in mind is that you need to pull your position when you get up above where you, uh, liquidity provide, your liquidity range is. Because if the price goes back down, you're back into 50% HEX, 50% USDC. And if the price goes below it, you're back completely into HEX. And this is really important when you're buying and selling with liquidity is that you need to pull your positions at the correct point in time where you have bought or sold the position that you want. So if the price goes completely out of your range, pull your position so you get all of your USDC, because if you don't and the price goes back down, you've essentially started to buy HEX again. And that's the, that's what this is representing right here. If you wanted to sell your HEX, you would place 100% USDC below the range. And as it goes down below the price, you would then uh, be accumulating HEX. And if it goes back all the way below, say right here, you're back 100% into HEX and you have now bought HEX at this average price right here. 
So for V2 style, if you wanted to buy, you need to place liquidity at a high and have price go lower so that you're accumulating more of the token. And if you wanted to sell, you need to place it at a uh, low. And as the price goes up, you are selling into that liquidity range. For a V3 style position, if you wanted to sell, you put your discrete position above where the price is. You are 100% in that token. Price moves through that range. And now you've completely sold out into the other token and you pull your position. If you're trying to buy, you put your uh, LP range below the current price in a discrete range. The price moves below your position. And so now you're accumulating that USDC again, and you're back 100% into hats. And that's pretty much the nuts and bolts of it. It's really not a complicated uh, idea, uh, but you need to understand impermanent loss first before you do this, because you need to understand how to put your liquidity, where to put it, and what kind of decks to put it in so that you are buying or selling with the maximum amount of efficiency. The tighter your range is on a V3, the faster you're going to sell out, the wider it is, the slower you're going to sell out. So really, if you are trying to sell or buy on a V3 DEX, you really want that range as tight as possible so that it slips through your price, so that the price slips through your range really, really quickly. And you want to make sure you pull that position, like I was saying before, so that you lock in that trade and that the price doesn't go back into your range where you just end up with the coins that you had previously. That is it for buying and selling with liquidity. It's a very, very easy uh, concept. I know a lot of people are really interested in it, and I know a lot of people um, get kind of confused with it, but it's super simple. Watch this video again. This shouldn't be a very long video. And um, if you have questions on it, book a 15-minute call, and we can talk through your specific situation or maybe clarify some of these concepts. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on buying and selling with LP, and the next one is going to be Hart's Law. So I'll see you tomorrow for lesson number seven. Peace out.